Hey everybody, it's Kenjo with an update on the Gold Bar Games website. I've been working on it for the past two months and I think it's ready for people to finally see it. So uh, this video is just going to do a quick walkthrough of what it's going to look like and how it's going to be different from the old one. Um, also a little bit about how I went into making it, but that really could be its own video. Um, so real quick, you can just sort of see we have the website here. This is what it's going to look like, but let's take a look at the old one real quick just to compare. Um, so the old one was built with a totally different uh, system. I was using uh, Ruby with uh, GitHub pages. Uh, the new one is going to be Python, and uh, so it's pretty different. We're not using GitHub pages anymore. It's actually on a server, which means that we can do a lot of interesting stuff with it. But I mean, th uh, this page, there's not a whole lot to it. You can see we have news um, and then some thumbnails with uh, pictures that sort of link to buttons. And I sort of changed that to the banner up here with buttons you can click on. I think that looks a lot nicer. One thing I still want to do, though, would be having uh, thumbnail images for the blog posts, because that's kind of what these were trying to do, but I couldn't actually do it that way, the old way. Um, so but that's still a feature I want to add in. There's a lot of features that I need to do, but I feel like doing an incremental release where I put the website out there um, and then build features on top of it over time is just the way to go for this. So I don't get hung up on like making it perfect and all that. Um, just put it out there. Then we have our social links at the bottom. I put those on the sidebar now and they're more colorful this time. So they stand out more. Um, so that's pretty much it. And like, I mean, the rest is what you would expect it to be. Um, and uh, that's basically all that. So that was the old site. Now on the new site, um, let's go through this step by step. Now we've got our blog right here and you can see that we have comments. So it, it, the old page told you how, uh, how many comments were on it and you can see them right here. And since I'm logged in, I could post a comment if I wanted to. So you just type in the box, um, and I can delete my own comment if I choose to. And so I'm logged in, as you can see in the top right corner of the screen, and I can log out. You've been logged out. Okay. <laughs> You know, it's always scary when you do that because you, you don't know if something's going to break while you're recording. But uh, I'm logged out now, and so if I go back here, sure enough, I cannot delete my post, and I have to log in to post a comment. So that's pretty cool. That works. Um, and so because we actually have that login system, now we can do lots of things with user accounts, and, and uh, we can link your account to different things. Uh, if we wanted to actually make games that had uh, links to accounts, that would be kind of neat. Because um, you can sort of imagine like getting a high score in one of our games and then that's like tied to your website account and you know things like that um, One thing I actually want to do is like Tie it to like your twitch account so that the people who watch our twitch streams actually get rewards that can sort of uh, be uh, Used on the main website not just through twitch. So that would be kind of cool Maybe you could like the more streams you watch Maybe you can eventually you know buy a t-shirt or something, you know depending on just how many hours of the stream you watch, you can earn some rewards. That might be kind of cool. Um, other pages we have, we have the games page. So this is like, uh, you know, showcases all of our games. We have the thumbnails on the left-hand side. And like, so I'm not entirely satisfied with the way these look, but they're pretty close to what I want. So you can kind of see that we have um, a bunch of like images and download links thrown in here. I would probably want to redo this to make this more like an image gallery or a slideshow or something so that I'm not just like stacking images here over and over. Um, and then we have to do something about all these different downloads and make them look nice because it's like, you know, you, you see this giant thing and then there's this giant thing and then there's j this giant thing. So I kind of want to make that a little bit better. It may just be better just to have like text links instead of all that stuff, but I don't know. I'm not really that decisive on that kind of thing. Um, then we also have this, which is pretty cool. So we have embedded YouTube links for the videos. Um, same deal with this. So we've got like a ton of, uh, ton of download links for the, for the game, but there's a lot more I want to do with this. Like being able to, um, one thing I want to do is like organize the blog posts so that if you go to the page for the game, you can see all of the blog posts related to that game. And then you can just sort through it that way and uh, organize it in, in such a way that you can like uh, 
view the posts related to the game uh, that it's about. Now, there's one more thing that I uh, haven't mentioned that's really critical to this website, which is the fact that um, you can't actually see it right now because I've disabled it, but uh, there is actually going to be a button below all of these download links that is a download button for downloading directly from our website. So we're actually hosting the game uh, somewhere else, and the download button actually downloads from that host so that you can actually play the game directly well, from downloading it from our website without going through a third party like Itch or Steam or wherever. Um, and the thing with that is it also works for purchasing games, not just free games. So uh, we have our own little uh, purchasing system. Well, it's not our system, but we're using the uh, APIs at our, uh, at our disposal to uh, actually take payments directly on our website and then provide the game to you from that. And so... That took a lot to figure out. It, 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 uh, it involved doing the payment processing as well as the file hosting, and getting those to work together was kind of difficult, um, but I'm proud of the result. And the only reason it's not on here yet is because I just want to do some more testing on it to make sure it's really right before I before I start charging people money. I want to make sure that it's like really well tested. So that's why I'm not doing that part yet. Um, I want to do more thorough testing there. We'll have that up, though. We'll have that up soon. Also... Uh, a few other things with that, but uh, let's move on. So the store page actually just brings up a direct link to the store.globalgames.com. That's that's actually a Shopify website, but I kind of want to redo that too. Um, so it like you know it uses the, th the same account system. Um, right now the two accounts are not the same. So if you tried to buy something from the store, you'd have to make a different account than the one that's here. So ultimately, I would want those to be the same account, or at least tied to each other somehow. Oh, and that's the other thing. Like, if you have, like, a Patreon or a Subscribestar subscription, uh, that could also be tied to your account, as well as your Twitch and Discord. So, like, I, I could really see this being huge, you know, in a, in a good way. You can tie all your social links to your Gold Bar Games account and get benefits from that that way. Um, the other thing here is our press website, which ultimately is going to have, like, press kits. Maybe that could be in the game section. Like, each game could have a link to its press kit. I don't know. Either that or the other way, where it's like the press page has like a bunch of press kits for each thing. Like I gotta get that organized. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, but um, right now this is just like uh, an about us page, which is pretty much identical to the old one on the old website. Um, oh, and of course we have this big banner here, right here, uh, which I think is pretty cool. I like the way the images turned out. So we have like a, you know, watch us on Twitch, so people can see that we're there. Um, just a, ge a generic one for, you know, welcome and make your account here and uh, 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 buying the DLC on Steam. So, you know, people can buy the game that they uh, that they want to play. And so I think all of these images turned out really good. Now, the last two things up here, streams and support. So streams, uh, this is a stream schedule page, and it's actually kind of cool because... Um, Right now it's not active, but there is like a countdown timer that counts down to the next stream. And the reason it's not active is because uh, I sort of ran into like a, not a problem, but like a, well, it's a problem. It's not like an issue, but it's a problem. Like, how do you go about implementing that? Because uh, the way I figured out how to do it was just to sort of like store each calendar event because basically this is going to be a calendar. It's not even just going to be a stream schedule. It's going to be a page for calendar events if we're doing something like, you know, we do streams all the time, but what if we go to like an anime convention? Well, then that's going to be on the calendar. Um, other things like that, maybe special circumstances. I don't know what else there could be, but uh, giveaways, contests, that kind of thing. Release dates for games, that'll be on the calendar. And basically, there's all these calendar events, and so the stream schedule just grabs the most recent calendar event that is a stream and counts down to that so that's how that works you'll eventually see it it's not up here right now because um because i don't really know how i'm gonna like dynamically add calendar events every day because like otherwise i would just add like y you got to think about certain things like what if you cancel a stream what if you're late for a stream that kind of thing um and how that would work and how you would cancel a stream if you're not physically at the computer to to say that but I'll figure that out eventually. We'll get there. Um, but for right now, it at least tells people, hey, we do uh, game development 
from this time to this time on these days. And that's the important part. And it has a link to it. Then we have the support page where it's like, hey, if you have a problem, email support or join the Discord server because that's probably going to get you support a lot faster. Then you can see all the people that are online right now on our Discord server and join. Um, but yeah, that's basically it's basically a pretty good overview of the, the website. Um, so now the only thing uh, I would like to say at the very end here is that uh, go into a little bit of detail on why I chose to do it the way I did. Um, so for people who are just curious about web development, um, I decided to go with Python for this uh, because I already knew Python from having to build different games and having built a bunch of different games using Python or in different applications as well. Python is just a really familiar language and I wanted to get this up and running as fast as possible. And I went with the uh, Django framework because uh, really I just heard the name a lot and you basically have two frameworks for this, uh, Django or Flask, and I chose Django. So I don't know, it, it seemed to work out really well. Uh, one thing I like about it is that it, uh, it's got a lot of stuff already built in and makes your life pretty easy. So um, that's kind of why I liked it, but um, or why I ended up liking it. And uh, so I'll stick with it. and. Um, it seems like there's a lot of uh, good documentation on it, at least. So uh, it's been pretty easy to get all of this pieced together, even though there's so many different parts. So I'm pretty satisfied with how this has turned out. And uh, I'm going to publish this live within the next few days over the weekend. Um, due to how the internet works, it may take a little while for the, like, the domain name to actually route itself properly to the new site. But uh, I'm looking really really looking forward to it, uh, to sharing it with everybody. And I hope this video was uh, interesting or in, uh, informative. And, you know, you can kind of see uh, what the website's going to be like and how it compares to the old one. So, um, yeah, the only other thing I would like to mention, uh, possibly the most important thing, is if you have any uh, comments, criticisms, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Um, you know, I'm more of a game developer than a web developer, even though uh, I've actually done web development like as a job for over a year. Uh, so like, I'm pretty comfortable with web development and all that, but more of a game developer. And like, if you see something that's like a glaring issue, you know, let me know. Um, or if you just have suggestions for what you think would be a really cool feature for the site, uh, you can let me know that as well. And I'd be really happy to try and get it in there. Um, I have a lot of ideas for what we could do on the site. I think that it would be really neat if we could even put like games on the site you can play in your browser or even games that actually interact with the site in other mysterious ways. Uh, that'd be kind of cool because we now have a server and with the server, you can actually like execute code on the site and that would be really cool. And if you tie that into your account system, um, possibilities are endless at this point. It's basically just up to my creativity now. <laughs> so combine all of that with the fact that we have our own game engine and we can really we can really do a lot now. Um, so I'm super excited. We're going to be posting a lot more. Um, the blog post will be developer logs, but we'll also do other types of posts that are more like... Well, I wouldn't say other types of posts, but it, I, I kind of want to lean more toward uh, not just doing updates, but also um, like explaining how I develop certain things, like um, how I end up doing certain things in my games and going into like a detailed uh, explanation of all that. Um, so those will be the type of blog posts you'll see. And the games page, like I said, you'll be able to buy games from there and download demos and everything. That's just going to be really cool. So I'm super excited. Um, we're going to get this out in the next few days here. That's all, really all I have to say. So uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, you've enjoyed it and that you'll enjoy uh, the website whenever it's out and have fun with our games. So um, like I said, uh, let me know what you think. Like if you like, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you in the next video.